Hey everybody, Micah here with Electrek, and today we're doing the long range test of the E-Move Cruiser. Now, I woke up at 5 in the morning because I am in South Florida, it is hot, and I want to get a start before there are a lot of cars on the road, because this scooter has a crazy long range estimate of 62 miles or 100 kilometers, and we're going to put that to the test. Despite this actually being more of an undertaking than you might think, I want to point out here that I'm doing this totally unsupported. I don't have a follow car, there's no support team. It's just me, my camera, my GPS, my scooter, and a Saturday morning with nothing better to do than to call a scooter company's bluff and see if they're really telling the truth about this long range scooter. One of the reasons that I love doing these range tests is I think it's important to hold these companies accountable. It's one thing to say you can go 100 kilometers, it's quite a different thing to actually have a scooter that can do it, so that's what we're going to find out today. Alright, now I've only been at this for about uh, 15 minutes so far, and I can already tell you two things. First of all, the trip meter on the E-Move Cruiser is a bit optimistic. I just hit 10 kilometers, but it's telling me I'm at 11.6. Uh, the speedometer also, because of that, is a little bit optimistic. So um, it's something that might factor into the range, because if they're basing their 100 kilometer range off of a trip meter and speedometer that reads a little high, well, that might uh, change the results. So we'll see about that. The second thing I can tell you is that apparently everyone waters the grass at 5 in the morning and the fenders are working great because I'm not getting wet and the road is often very slick. You know, I'll tell you, I didn't used to be as big a fan of cruise control, but I am learning to love it. All right, dawn is officially upon us, and I have only gone 18 and a half kilometers over the past half hour, so I think I need to get moving. Alright, so I've been at it now for about an hour and a half. I'm at around 56 kilometers and things are actually going pretty well. The voltage just dipped below 50, we're at about 49 something, which means we're a little bit past uh, halfway drained and we're actually kind of on track to hit 100 kilometers. Now near the end, the voltage is going to drop off more and so we might not make it, but I'm pleasantly surprised by the performance so far. I will say my feet are getting pretty sore. I don't normally scoot for an hour and a half in a row but uh, hopefully I don't have too much more. I'm, uh, to be honest, I'm kind of hoping I don't make it all the way to 100 because this is a lot of scooting. All right, back on the road. Alright, I am over two hours in, I have just passed 80 kilometers, and this has become considerably less fun at this point. My feet are pretty tired, this is taking a while, and to be honest, I'm kind of amazed we've reached this point. But there's still a decent amount of battery left, we're at around 47 volts, and that means I gotta keep going. Alright, let's do this. <laughs> And this is the moment after nearly three long hours of riding where I finally got to see this. All right guys, I cannot believe I'm saying this, but we have actually made it to 100 kilometers or 62 miles. It's taken me uh, two hours and 46 minutes to get here and we are down to 41 volts, which means the battery is about to die, but we're gonna keep pushing it and seeing how much more we can go.
All right, so here's the deal. I am at 103.79 kilometers, but my speed has slowed down to 18 kilometers an hour, which is just over 10 miles an hour. So it looks like I've entered into the limp home mode and the battery indicator is blinking empty. So yeah, I'm definitely in limp home mode. I think I'm gonna call it at this point, we're just under 104 kilometers. And so I'm gonna call this the usable range before you get into the really slow mode. To be honest, as far as limp home modes go, uh, 10 miles an hour is pretty good. A lot of scooters slow down to like three to five miles an hour. So this is not bad, though we're starting to slow down a little more now. Yep, we're coming up on 104 kilometers. All right, I think this is about it. I'm glad I pulled into this neighborhood because I do not want to be on the side of a highway when you enter this slow mode. All right, 104 kilometers. That's it, guys. That's all she wrote. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this range test. Congrats to uh, Voro Motors because the eMove Cruiser actually exceeded their range rating. So props to them. Last but not least, don't forget to subscribe so you can check out all of our electric vehicle videos in the future. See you next time, everyone.